All right, guys, so we just got down here. We on location. We are in Miami, and we, we need to get started, so just hop right in. I'm back again with Love Monat. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it, Sam. Since the beginning, Judy has been kept within the eye of the beholder. The beast will either want you or want nothing to do with you. What makes it desire you is how you are perceived. Perception is in fact the key to making yourself. It has the power to redefine your reality and shape your environment. This book is to take you throughout the rest of your life. What you do with it is entirely up to you, so read responsibly. The one thing that connects us all regardless of heritage or bloodline is human nature. The mind is designed to protect itself from all harm and danger. Not long after you scrape your knee, a scab appears. And when the brain experiences overwhelming trauma, it can easily block, block out memories. It's always easy to ignore the elephant in the room. Just not as easy to ignore that little voice at the back of your head. You need to hone in on yourself and strengthen your voice of discernment to reshape your reality. You need to learn how to protect your energy. These few chapters will give you an inside look into my life and experiences with unexpected challenges I had to face and shed light on a different type of birthing process, the guardianship process. I'm the only girl of my mother's children, and I'm also the middle child. After she passed away, I had chose to apply for guardianship of my youngest brother. There were many things I could have done with my life, but leaving him to the wolves wasn't going to be a sin I'd consume or a stain so easy to remove. This isn't a life I would have expected for myself. It's been a long time since then, and I've learned a lot about the way the world works and its appetite. The most important lesson I had to learn was the way the cookie crumbles. Whatever we believe about ourselves and our ability comes true for us. Susan Taylor Your whole life is about to change. You have a decision to make whether you're ready to make it or not. Deciding to take care of a child is a big choice and can't be taken lightly. Really take the time to sit down and think if it's something you're ready to adjust to. You have a lot of sacrifices to make along the way. Your psychological health is a priority. It's important you stay aware of yourself and know what you want to do. It'll be easier to make decisions when you come across obstacles in life and you can think from a focused mind. You want to take some time out for yourself and minimize any distractions. Normally, I would tell my friends I'm going away for the weekend and book a luxury three-day vacation to my bedroom. Even better, before the gas prices started to go up, I would even take a drive out of town to the next city over and use that space and time to sort myself out. This process is called the silence of the lamb. Wherever you are, keep your space personal, clean, and private. This isn't the time to procrastinate. It's time to get ready to set things in motion. Now, I know this can be uncomfortable for some to bring up to their partner. You may not know the right way to go about it. Truthfully, there is no right of passage here. It's just one of those situations where you just need to rip off the bandage. Don't assume that your partner understands how fast and hectic a child can turn things around. Nine months is a long time for a father and a quick blink to a mother forming a child. Hopefully, the enjoyment is shared, but the preparation will always be different from a man to a woman. One of the best things you can do for yourself and your child is to get on the same page and come to an equal understanding. People will always expect you to fail. Don't give them the water to wash you down the sink with. That's called backwash. Educate your partner on what you might need from them to support you during this time. And the wind blows both ways. So fathers, if you're going to be present, then be prepared. Ladies, if you're going to be hopeful for the future, then know that you can't produce new fruit with bad soil. The last things you want to experience is when the time comes, you and your partner are having problems due to lack of communication, misunderstanding, and effort. When all the parties involved are all the parties that's confused, that's called the bird business. Become like a bird, expand your wings, learn new things, and fly as high as you can. Some people are private and some people like to share. If you're like me, you like to do first and speak later. This can be a very intimate and private experience for some, but if I'm being dangerously honest, it's not the worst idea to set boundaries and limitations on access to your personal life. But if you have a good support system, this will be the time to let some of them in on the news, your best friends, your family, even your dog. Don't expect to have the same experience as anyone else, but getting advice on things ahead of time and a good group of friends to support you 
It's a card I wouldn't mind having to play. Quick insight. Remember, just because they're your friends and family, it still doesn't mean they're entitled to know all of your business. Not everything needs to be shared, so know exactly who you need to call when you need a shoulder to cry on about personal information. Tips for maintaining your mental health. Focus on one thing. Always be thankful for what you have, even the things that you don't. Exercise, girl, exercise. Be open to someone. Go to sleep on time and you'll get some good rest. And here's a self-love reminder. Number one, don't listen to other people's opinion who just want to bring you down. Number two, don't let toxic friends play with your empathy. And last but not least, never give up on your dreams just because others don't believe you can accomplish it. They need to accomplish themselves. Going through this process can be tricky and you want to make sure you get it done right, the legal way. If you do things right the first time, you'll never live the same day again. I never would have been able to get the guardianship process done without the help from the legal system. Applying for guardianship of a minor has a lot of tasks involved and you can get easily confused and overwhelmed. You can run into false information, waste your time on the wrong forms and waste your money. In order to legally establish guardianship, you have to hire an attorney to file a petition with the local court where you live to open up a case on your behalf. The guardianship requirements will vary from state to state, so make sure to double check and be compliant with your state policies, and your lawyer can guide you as well. To get your official letters of guardianship, it can take anywhere from three months to a year. In my case, it took nine months. A lot of things can come into play when getting the process done, like COVID-19 affecting work hours. People calling out sick, long wait times due to short staff. It's normal to have delays. Just try to have all your documents in order to help the process go by smoothly. The word of the day, closed mouths don't get fed. If it wasn't for my legal team, I would have been like a chicken with my head cut off. I never would have been able to settle my mom's affairs or get the guardianship done if it wasn't for their help. So don't be scared. Reach out. Chapter 5. No code, no honor, no Crayola. Checkpoint. This is a special chapter and it won't apply to everyone. This chapter is designed to take you through and make sure you're aware of the legal steps to guardianship required by the court to receive your letters. A legal guardian is required when the parents of a minor are unable to fulfill their role and work in the best interest of the child. A guardian can also be necessary in the wake of an emergency situation, such as sudden death, illness, or incarceration. Each guardianship case will be different and the requirements will vary. My family did the one thing I least expected after my mom passed. They started working for their own interests, being deceitful, fraudulent, and dishonest. My mother would always say to me, if it was a snake, it would have bit you. Well, this time it was a snake. It, was, it had silky skin. It was long and black with emerald eyes and winding. And the only way to cure the venom was to sip it slow. It didn't take long for me to make a decision to seek legal help and apply for guardianship with my little brother. It's been a long year for us, so here's an insider look at the process I had to go through to be intentional and put pen to paper. Take notes. Chapter 6. What's a mob to a king? Now I know we all hate baby daddy drama, and this situation wasn't going to allow me to get through it without experiencing some of my own. The difference between a legal guardian and a parent is a guardian is a person responsible for the everyday care and activity of the child, the household, the schooling, and all the major decisions. A parent is responsible for providing the care of the child, like shoes, food, clothes, etc. If you're in a situation where you're going for guardianship of a minor and the other parent is not involved, you can go over the conditions of your custody with your lawyer. It'll be different based on each situation. Excuse me? You can never expect what life will throw at you, or even when, and the safest place to be in a hurricane is in the eye of the storm. Having an appointed legal guardian is a valuable asset for parents to consider to plan for the care of their child, just in case something unexpected happens. There are many different types of guardianships, so unless you've been directly limited by the court, the guardian has the same rights, duties, roles, and responsibilities as any other parent would have over their child.
Here's some homeschool advice. Know the difference. A guardian is someone who takes care of the child and is responsible for their each and everyday activity. Doctor's appointments, school visits, checkups fall under this umbrella. First is a parent. A parent is one who gives a child everything and anything they want, making sure the child has access to everything they need. Number two, a legal guardian has custody of the children and the authority to make decisions concerning the child's protection, education, care, and discipline. Versus a parent. A parent is derived from the Greek word parents. They are the one who are always there to protect their child, teach them good habits, guide them whenever they are not on the right track. Point three. A guardianship is normally by someone who is not the child's parent. Guardians are responsible for making decisions about the child's care, upbringing, personal property, and assets. Versus a parent. Parents can also be guardians, but in this case, parents retain all of their parents' rights and responsibilities. Legal guardians are to act in the child's best interest when the parents aren't able to do so. Chapter 7. The Three Real Housewives Do you have any extra baby formula? Girl, do you know how many things have to actually go right to have a healthy baby? Well, get ready to gear up. Pregnancy is divided into three trimesters, each needing its own different set of seasonings. Sugar and spice and everything nice are unpredictable. That's the secret ingredient. Here's a reality check. Expectations are high and so is my adrenaline. For some people, you're about to meet your new bundle of joy. And for others, you're about to meet a judge. There are many ways to deliver a baby. There are natural births, water births, and I'm not here to tell you what to expect during labor. I'm here to tell you what to expect in that courtroom, a different type of newborn. Due to COVID-19 affecting business hours and the social distancing guidelines in place, you can expect your court hearing to be held via Zoom. Your attorney will make you aware of the date, time, and any difference in location. Who you have present at the time is up to you. Just try to keep it minimal. Now understand, you've done your part already. So during court, let your attorney lead the way and speak when spoken to. Chapter eight, no paper, no passage, and that's period. Congratulations, you finally got the guardianship done or just met your new baby. You're on a new journey in life, again. Now that you have your documentation from the hospital or your letters of guardianship from the court, Believe it or not, the long part is done and the hard part just started. Take a second to breathe. A lot just happened and you just took a huge leap in life. But remember, water never stops flowing where grass can find it. After you catch your breath, this is when you want to start getting all your paperwork in order. Organization is key. Be sure to put all your documentation in a secure location. A simple folder will work just fine. It will be a real headache when it's time to enroll in school or go to the doctors and you're searching for birth certificates under your grandmother's bed or your dad's toolbox. You'll want to collect birth certificates, social security cards, school and immunization records. Also, use this time to request extra copies just to have as you'll be using them frequently throughout the year. When it comes to health insurance, there are many ways to go about it. Your best option would be to add your new dependent onto your health insurance plan provided by your job. Oh, and here's an insider. For legal guardians, the probate guardianship court will provide a list of resources with all the information you need regarding finding health insurance. This should be presented in the guardianship course required by the court. And here's a top reminder. Take your time with this and plan out your tasks. You don't need to rush, but you don't want to procrastinate either. Time waits for no one. You shouldn't have to schedule an appointment to get majority of these documents just to plan ahead and show up early. The lines can get long. Check out your local health department for your paperwork for legal guardians and your parents. Here's how to be prepared. Wake up early and stress before you start the day. Meditate and practice. Always have a backup plan. Know where everything that important is kept.